Right, welcome back to Spinning Trip Reviews, and today we're doing an EGS review on a company called Merlin's Mist E Liquid. Now, we met these guys down at Vape Finder. Um, now, to follow them up and look for more information, it's www.merlinsmistealiquid.com. They're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The VGPGs on these are 70 VG, 30 PG, come in nicotine strips of zero, which is a 60ml bottle with 50ml zero nic e liquid with the space for a nick shot. Um, the four flavours that we're doing are Wild Watermelon, Love Potion, Strawberry Chews, Mint Chop Chippers. Um, basically big big love goes out to Josh and the full team down there and what we're going to do is we're going to have a little vape up on these we're going to be testing them to see if they do what they say on the tin flavour wise we'll go back through the pro like the full profiles of these um, and telling you what's in them and like I said whether they do what they say on the tin flavour wise we're also going to be checking out the labels and stuff like that the bottles um, and also we're going to be checking out the clouds so don't go nowhere and catch us back in a minute Right, welcome back to Spitting and Dripper Reviews and today, like we said on the desktop, we're doing this company out in front of us called Merlin's Mist E-Liquid. Um, the four flavours we're doing is Wild Watermelon, Love Potion, Strawberry Chews and Mint Chop Chippers. Now the first one that we're going to be starting with is called Wild Watermelon. It's an amazing watermelon flavour, bursting with freshness. That's the nice logos on there. What's it smell like? Go on, you have a vape and I'll have a little smell up. Oh, that smells like a lovely sort of. I know it says wild watermelon, but to me it smells a bit like um, like a honeydew sort of lemon uh, melon. Um, you're getting that creaminess as well mm, that you get with uh, the honeydew mm. as well. You can make a juice up, but um, yeah, you're getting that creaminess that's associated that's all with I can the smell honeydew, like a, like a honeydew type watermelon in the smell. Yeah, I mean. It says it's watermelon, but to me, I'm getting honeydew in a nice way as well. Let me, you know, it really is. Mm. It's a nice melon. Very creamy, isn't it? It is. It's it's borderline. I mean, you're getting a bit of watermelon in there, but it is borderline sort of honeydew melon. Yeah. Um, it is creamy. It's not overly creamy, but it's creamy. It's not too bad. Um. Sugar lip, I'd say around a 45, 48, a like percentage out yeah. of 100. Um, it's not a lingerer. I mean, sometimes watermelons can get overly yeah, lingering at the end and stay forever. But this one seemed to, I'm getting a little bit, but not, not as much as I thought I would yeah. have got a lingering at the end. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice one if you like them. Um, Strong at first and then subtly moving out quite fast rather than strong and then, you know, lingering forever. Mm. But it has got, a, to me, a bit of a mixture of not only watermelon, but a bit of honeydew feel to it with a bit of cream going on. Yeah. It's all right. It's not too bad. Yeah. I quite like the creaminess from that. Mm. So. He's all right. Right, move on to the next one. This one's called Love Potion, a confectionery classic, the infamous Love Heart Sweets in an e-liquid form. You want me to have a go yeah, on this one? Yeah, go through it, right? Oh, that's nice. I mean, their claim on, on their leaflet is we make big bottles with even bigger flavour. So... It does what it says on the tin, that one. Love Art Sweets. Yeah. It's on it, point. It's got that sort of powdery, powdery sweetie, candy type vibe. Lashings of like a strawberry sweet. Um, Sugar lip. Ice, bang on point, 50-50 how we like it. Yes, it's just a, a really nice fruity type strawberry borderline candy, mm. chewy, not chewy sweet, but like powder sweet, you know them, which love arts are, you know, they're like a... That's exactly what it is, it's like getting an arm, unwrapping a packet and just shoving them all in your gob. You know, And just definitely. getting that explosion of it's candy. Nice. Yeah. That one's really good to me. I, re I really enjoyed that one. I mean, I like as well that with these as well, there's no artificial colours, no. which is a thing that yeah. we don't like personally. Yeah. Um, no sweeteners either. Yeah. Even though that is very sweet. That's what I'm saying. And nice and sweet. It's done with you know concentrates mm. rather than... No diactyl, no actyl propanol either, or any DEG as well. So, Brilliant. To get something that sweet. See, sometimes you just it's don't lovely. need to add sweetener. And we all know that sweetener's a cold killer. So Definitely. maybe they should last a bit longer. Right, the next one's called Strawberry Chews. Everyone's favourite strawberry soft chew sweets, as you can see there. That is cheeky, isn't it? That is cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> that is cheeky. Right, let's try. 
That is close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we mean by cheeky is if you look there. Let me just get that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what are you getting? First vape, it started off a little bit, not what I was expecting, where it says it's a strawberry chew. Cool. But then the second vape seemed different, seemed like... Oh, it don't have much smell either, it's, a, it's just like a, a like a dab of strawberry, but that's mm. about it, it don't really it's not, smell. It's not overpowering with the strawberry. And the first vape was a bit weird, it felt a bit like grapey to me. Yeah. Doesn't it? It does. Mm. Even though it says it's a strawberry too. And then the second vape is like a little bit more subtle. But the first one to me seemed like great. great. Yeah. yeah, what's that all about? Hmm. It's definitely not strawberry chew it's to me. Hmm. Right? It's got a little bit of a, a chewy sweet vibe to it, but it's more like a a grape chew it. Yeah. If that makes sense. That's what it, it, it felt like on the first vape for me. It was a bit grape. And then the second vape, it wasn't so harsh, but definitely not harsh, a stranger. but like in your face grape-wise. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Mm. I'm not taking it away from you. But to me, it's more like grape chew -its. Yeah. Even though there ain't a grape chew -it, but not that I know of anyway. But to me, that's what it tastes like rather than a strawberry chew -its. It's got a bit of a, definitely a grape vibe going on. Mm. Um, sugar lip on this one, I'd say is about sort of 48, 50% yeah. out of 100, which is how we like it. Um, it's a nice vape, it's just not strawberry chew it's, mm. it's, as I say, shame yeah. really because I was looking forward to having that strawberry you know, punchiness going mm. on but to me it was more, I have to agree with bigger cop, it's, you know, it's more of a, a grape, yeah. really weird. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. No. Right, finally <laughs> let's move on to the last one, this one's called Mint Choc Chippers which is a fresh chocolate taste complemented by a refreshing minty undertones. And when I was juicing this up and I smelled it, I have to say it brought back some childhood memories. Because I, I mean, I really did like an, the old school, the very old school mint chop chip ice cream. Do you know what I mean? Um, and this one smelt on par like it was mm. mint chop chip ice cream. Go in, I'm going to smell. It wow. has that old school smell about the bottle. It's lovely. Now it is mint chop chip ice cream, but if I was to be very picky, I would say I would like a bit more creminess from the ice cream. Right. It's got the mint chop chip, and they taste, when it mixes with that mint, you're getting that old school vibe feel, right? How I used to like it. But the ice cream kicks in, don't get me wrong, but it isn't until now, after vaping, that you get a little bit of a creamy layered tongue. But I would have liked to have seen more of that cream push you know, maybe even put in three or four different creams and give it more of a push. But I'm not taking it away from it because it is a good mint chop chip ice cream. It really is. And I'm not really a fan of vaping mint chop chip yeah, ice cream. Yeah. I love that ice cream. Mm. I don't like vaping it. But that one surprised me pleasantly. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, um, and I've got to say the same as Good Cop. I've got to say it just could do a bit more creaminess. Definitely. The mint chop chip bit is And the ice cream's point. there, but it just needed that bit more creaminess, yeah. like, you know right to ride it out, you know, give you that, mm. you know, like our ice cream is, it's, it's very creamy anyway, you know, so it would have been nice, but I'm, I'm not taking it away from it, that is a good vape. Yeah. Pull the sugar lip on this one. 45? Yeah, 45%, yeah. Mm. So yeah, these have been Merlin's Miss D Liquid, don't forget to subscribe to us, don't forget to tell all your friends about us, add us up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube. Um, now before we go, I'm just going to ask Bigger Cop and myself, and we're going to choose a favourite out of the range, what you like so far. Um, now basically, let's start with you. What, what one? If you if you stuck on a desert island and a genie popped up and said you're allowed one wish, but you can only have one of these, <laughs> you can't have all four. What one would you choose? Um, I think the love potion. Oh, I don't know, or the wild watermelon. <laughs> actually, no. I think I'd go with a wild watermelon because of that creaminess. It was like a honeydew to me. And I like honeydew melon. So I I'll think have to I'd go have to with go the love with potion. I think to me, out of all of them, it did exactly what it said on the tin. Um, I mean, the first one did well, as well. Well, let's hope we're on the same desert island and we can share. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the first one did as well, but it had a bit more of a... I mean, I was just looking for that normal watermelon, you know, but it didn't. It had a bit of cantaloupe to it or mm. some sort of, you know, honeydew to it that gave it, a, you know, a bit of a, a different type of watermelon going on with mm. creaminess. So it didn't quite do what it said on the tin, but it done more, so I'm not taking it away from it because it is nice. 
but I think that second one, the Love Potion, was so bang on point. It was a powdery sweet um, in a good way with that sort of, you know, like, it, like eating, like you said, mm. a handful of Love Arts. It really, uh, you know, um, I, I wasn't a great fan of the sweet. I didn't mind them, but vaping it's absolutely amazing yeah, fantastic it's nice like as it. well yeah i'd definitely be t stuck between the two but oh yeah definitely definitely <laughs> them two are the best two um not taking it again away from the mint choc chipper i mean strawberry chips was more like a grape chip unfortunately but the m1 you know that was still a really nice mint choc chip ice mm. cream and if that's your road then please do check it out but to me it was all about love potion so there you go. But yeah catch us back next time on spitting the dripper reviews <laughs>